Hey gamers, Minus10 here, and today we're going to do uh, an interesting unboxing, something a little different. Uh, not a gaming keyboard, but more of a productivity keyboard. Uh, my partner is uh, looking for a new keyboard, and so uh, I agreed to buy her a keyboard if she would let me do an unboxing and review video. Uh, so we settled in on a Newfie keyboard called the Air 96 version 2 with red linear key switches. Uh, and so we're going to unbox that today. Uh, we're going to hear how the keyboard sounds. And over the next week, I'm going to use it to edit this video as well as my review video. And uh, I'll probably do a, a little bit of gaming on it because it does come with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. So uh, let's jump right in and see what Newfie has to offer. So first impressions are the packaging is really nice. I mean, it's very colorful, it's well designed, very simple, very Apple-esque. So uh, I already took off the, the plastic here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now it has a couple um, words on here that are interesting. Uh, they say only fun products are worth creating. Very true. Uh, I don't believe there's anything on the back, so there's no features on the back. So let's just go ahead and slide this out of the box. Oh, nice. So uh, they went from a, a very well-designed cover to a, a fairly black but colorful box, which is always nice to see. Oops, let's turn it around. Go ahead and check out inside here. So we've got a, uh, looks like a quick start guide. Not sure how much we'll need that, so we'll put that over to the side. Great, got a little packaging here. Let's see what's in here. Uh, okay. Oh, very a very nice cable. Feels really, really nice. Has a nice texture to it. Uh, and I think you can see this is uh, USB Type C to USB Type A. So good. Put that over the side. We've got a um, keycap puller. I'm gonna leave this in the box because I think my partner will wanna use that later. Maybe. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay. We got the. Uh, uh, extra switches and 2.4 gigahertz receiver. So let's pull that out. Okay, let's get that there. Uh, okay, so they give you some different switch types. There's one red, uh, and it looks like they have some other switch styles in here. It's like they got a clicky switch. I love the clickies. Um, this is the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Very, again, uh, very nice design and packaging. Uh, the uh, you can see the Newfie brand on the tip of the receiver, the 2.4 gigahertz receiver, and it just has a nice, a nice aesthetic. So, uh, okay, kudos to, to Newfie for creating some very well uh, industrial design here. Put that on the side. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is um, extra keycaps. Uh, the, the keyboard is is comes pre-installed with. Uh, Mac keys, so I'm assuming these are uh, the window keycaps. So let's take a look at these here. Oops. I don't know if I can get that off here. Oh, there it goes. Pull. Yeah, yeah. These are these look like the window keycaps that you could put on there. Command. Yeah, that's like the window key right there. So not sure if you can see those really quick, but that's what they look like, and they feel nice. That over the side. All right, let's go to the star of the show here. And let's check out this keyboard. So anyway, comes with uh, looks like some recycled plastic. Nice. It's got a very nice dust cover on it, which is always nice. To add. Uh, and it's I don't know if you can read that on the. It's got a. Uh, I don't even know what that means. I'll have to type that in. N-G-A-U colon F-I, but it's like Newfie. Side. Take a look at this keyboard. Oh, nice. Very nice. So some of the features of this keyboard is, first and foremost, it does come with double shot PBT keycaps. We'll pull one off and see how it is. And then for the, uh, the wireless dongle, it is a 1000 hertz polling rate, so you'll have good connectivity with uh, with the keyboard and hopefully uh, while I game on it. Um, a couple other uh, features of this keyboard. You can use it in Windows or Mac mode. I'll hold this up so you can see. Get that to focus. Windows or Mac. And then you can also use it, you can turn it off 
you can use it wired mode or in wireless mode with the with the dongle. So let's see how that looks. Oh, it, and it oh it does have RGB, which is nice. Now the keycaps are not shine through, so the key, the RGB is gonna bleed out the side. Um, and it's hard to see. It's not super strong, but it's subtle, which my partner will like because she's she's definitely not a gamer. Um, and then on the back here, oh, that's gorgeous. So they have a nice silver inlaid plate uh, with a, a protector on it. I'll leave that on because I know she'll want to take that off herself. And then uh, keyboard feet with two adjustments, which is very nice. And they, they feel good. Now, oh, and they, okay, and they've got a, a nice silicon pad on them to keep it grounded to the desk. Good. Let's pull this out. Let's give this thing a, a, a quick typing test. Sounds good. Ooh, spacebar sounds really good. Uh, got some nice stabilizers. There's no rattle. Uh, these use the palm stem, so the keycaps are pretty well set onto the keyboard. So let's take off one of the keycaps and see what these things look like. Oh, okay. So it is hot swappable. Nice. So we got the keycap off. Give you a look at that. Uh, now it's it, it's not. It doesn't have a real strong grainy uh, feel like some of the gamer keyboards, but it. It's definitely quality, and you can see uh, it's a fairly thick-walled keycap, and you know, but nice quality. So let's take a look at this uh, switch. Uh, it's a three-pin, a three-pin switch. Let's get that in there, and then uh, these are linear switches, so there's not any sound, but they're low profile. You can see they're quite small. So let's pop that back in. Make sure we do it right. Oh, well, let's check out this. Uh, RGB, if you can see that, uh, it's not overly bright, but it's 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 enough to give it a, a splash of RGB. And of course, I I always love my RGB. So let's go ahead and put this back in here. Don't want to bend that stem. I don't have any replacement. Go goes in like so. Okay, that's in. Nice. Sounds good. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, these are the uh, Nufi Red uh, 2.0 switches, and they have an actuation point of 45 grams, which is which is nice. It's a it's a nice actuation point, not overly light like you see in some of the gaming keyboards, uh, but uh, light enough and quiet uh, for a, a work style keyboard. So, if you're on conference calls. You won't hear that click clacking like you hear with blue switch or some of the tactile switch switches. So let, let's give this thing a weight and put it on there. So not too heavy. It's just just shy of 700 grams. So it's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's not overly hefty. And it's it's a plastic build, so it, it it's not going to be a beefy, meaty keyboard like you see with some of the customs or the, the gaming keyboards. So that's a quick unboxing of the Nufi Air 96 version 2. Uh, over the next week, I'm going to use this keyboard to edit this video and my review video. Uh, I'll do a little bit of gaming on the side with it as well. Uh, and we'll have a review out next week with uh, my overall impressions of, of the Nufi Air 96 version 2. If you like this video and it was helpful to your buying decision, I'd really appreciate a like on the video. And if you would like to follow me as a content creator, I would really appreciate a sub as well. All comments below are welcome too. Thanks for watching.